Okay, now this review is gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna be talking about this. The Adidas Supernova Rise. Now, Pro Direct, massive retailer where I live in the UK, and Adidas, in collaboration with each other, have sent me these shoes. Now, I was gonna be all cool about that, but that's a big deal. That, that's a massive deal. To kind of celebrate my first ever pair of shoes being sent by Pro Direct and Adidas, we're gonna do this slightly different. I'm gonna be doing it vlog style. Now, you can't do a running vlog without making a cup of coffee first. I learned that from Ben is running. So, uh, run the coffee. I feel like if I go this way, I might run into Jenny and Olivia. They left the house earlier than me on their little walk. And look who I've just spotted. All right, so we're back to it. Let's talk about the shoes. Yes, they landed perfectly like this. This is Adidas Supernova Rise. This here, we have to talk about. My name is Aubrey, I'm a runner and I'm good with being me. The three things you need to know. Let's start with the weight. I wear a nine and a half UK and these weighed in 300 grams. Before all you critics out there start saying this is too heavy, you need to understand what's in this shoe before you make a conclusion. The second thing, the price, 130 pounds. Wait, 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 wait. I want, I'm gonna challenge anyone. In the comments right now, I want you to tell me what shoe costs 130 pounds or cheaper that you think is better than this shoe after you've watched this review. I wanna challenge you that this is possibly the best daily trainer at that price point, period. For the stack height, let me send it out to Aubrey who's out running right now. All right, it feels like spring is finally here. Guys, excuse me for the wind noise. I just thought it's better being outside and talking about these shoes while on the run. But we talk to stack height. Now 34 millimeters at the back, 24 millimeters at the front, a 10 mil drop. And I love that. All right, so let's break the shoe down. Just a normal conversation, starting from the top, working our way down. Now I pride myself in just reviewing shoes like a normal conversation. I don't like techie jargon. I don't like proprietary names of materials. I don't do that. So let's start with the heel. The padding in this thing is plush. Number one feature in terms of the heel is how plush and luxurious it feels. It feels like, you know, one of them days when you've had a long day and you finally sit down on the sofa. It feels like that, except you're running. They haven't compromised on the plushiness and that luxurious feel when you put that in. I'll talk more about that when we speak about the tongue, but it's a nice feel. It just feels perfect. And in terms of the structure, come on, come on. The Incredible Hulk couldn't push this. It's a secure lockdown. You get to feel that it's plush, it's there. There's no ankles slipping out, ankles rolling. That is what I call structure. Let's talk about the tongue. You will have to excuse Adidas and Pro Direct. They've never worked with me before, so they haven't been told about the gussetedness. Unfortunately, this tongue is not gusseted. Come close, come close, come close. Don't worry, I'll come to you. Adidas, bro. Gusset this thing next time. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adidas are new to this channel. But Adidas, like the man has said, gusset this tongue. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Gusset it. I know it's 130, but I know you can gusset it. Gusset this tongue, bro. Please. <laughs> but it's true, it's true. Gus at this thing. It gives the runner a good secure feel, a fixed feeling every single time. What they have done though is provided this little hole here where you can put the laces through and that means the tongue won't slip down or go right up, it'll be fixed. So that actually helps. Another thing I like, you see where that logo is? 
that is extra padding. And that's essentially where you're gonna be tying the laces down and it will protect the top of your foot for feeling that pain from the added pressure. That is a nice touch. In terms of the lacing system, pretty standard. They're just normal laces. There isn't anything to sing about. They're 130 pound shoes. The laces are as basic as that. They are plush to the touch, nice feel to them. Um, you won't have any issues with shoes coming undone. And also offers you the runner's knot, which gives you even more assurance that you won't have any problems in terms of the lacing system. I agree with Aubrey out there on the run that the laces are basic, they work. What's special, simply because of how basic and simple it is, the lacing system in terms of the eyelets, it's holes. Don't get all experimental, doing little strings, doing all kind of, it's a daily train art, daily miles, it works. Thank you very much. All right, in terms of the upper, I'm gonna let Aubrey on the run talk about the performance. I'm gonna tell you about the look of this thing because that's more important. Now, in terms of appearance, I love this design, but what I prefer even more is this colorway. Now I've seen other Supernova risers, the black, and is it green or yellow? This colorway is clean, I love it, but I'm, I'm gonna have challenges keeping it clean, but I absolutely love that. I like the simplicity within this upper. It just looks like a running shoe. Let's talk about the upper. Um, I wanted to talk about the breathability, but I feel like I'll be lying to you if I said it's highly breathable. You see, England right now, even though it looks like it's sunny, it's very cold. And I've embraced the fact that my feet are kind of feeling warm. Does that raise questions that the shoe runs warm? I don't know. I can't give you an opinion from a felt experience. So I don't really want to comment on that. What I can tell you though is the feel of the upper on your foot. I haven't experienced something this plush in a long time. The midsole. Dream Strike Plus is what they call it, but as you know, I don't care about what name running shoe companies give these things because it doesn't mean anything. What you need to know is... Piba Foam is literally top tier materials that manufacturers put in into their race day shoes. And that's what Adidas is used here for a daily trainer at 130 pounds. Come on. In the absolute top tier race day shoes, Adidas has gone around, messed around and put it in a daily trainer. This is where I said 130 pounds for this kind of top tier material, you're gonna be hard pressed to find something like this. Bang, within there, you're also gonna see these things, they're calling them support rods. So it's not so much energy rods that you see um, in the Adidas Adios Pros that act like carbon plates. They're more there for support really, just to stabilize the shoe because of the material they have used. Without these, there would be other people complaining about a lack of stability within this shoe. I have to tell you, please try the feeling, the sensation of running in this shoe. You can return the shoe afterwards, but I doubt you will. At 130 pounds, okay, turn the shoe over, outsole. I'm quite slightly disappointed that Adidas didn't use the continental rubber that they normally use. They've used a rubber. Now, for me personally, Adidas bro, I know you're for continental rubber. I underestimated the power of it when I got the Adidas Adios Pro 2. And I issued an apology video too. I'll link it up here because I underestimated that material. I wish they put it on here, but you know what? 130 pounds, I've got no complaints. This thing is grippy and you know what? It's full coverage on this thing. I can't complain too much. 